Hey, welcome to Two Minutes Pi. Today, we're diving into a super cool topic, list comprehension. You might have heard of it before. So what exactly is list comprehension? List comprehension is a concise and powerful way to create lists in Python. It allows you to create a new list by applying an expression to each item in an existing iterable, such as a list, tuple, or range, and optionally filtering the items based on a condition. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say you want to create a list of squares of numbers from 1 to 10. The traditional way would be something like this. Now that's perfectly fine and it gets the job done. But with list comprehension, we can achieve the same result in just one line of code. Check this out. Isn't that neat? With list comprehension, we're able to create the same list in a more compact way. So how should you write logic within list comprehension? At its core, list comprehension consists of three main components. The expression, the iterable, and optionally, a condition. Let's break it down further. Expression. This is the operation or transformation that you want to perform on each item in the iterable. It could be anything from a simple arithmetic operation to a function call. Iterable. This is the collection of items over which you want to iterate. It can be a list, tuple, range, or any other iterable object. Condition, which is optional. This allows you to filter the items in the iterable based on a certain condition. Let me show you an example to illustrate. In this example, we're using list comprehension to generate a list of squares of even numbers from 1 to 10. We square each number, iterate over the range from 1 to 11, and include only the even numbers. We can also use if-else conditions within list comprehensions. Let's say we want to create a list of numbers from 1 to 10, where each even number is replaced by even, and each odd number is replaced by odd. Here's how you can do it with list comprehension. With just one line of code, we're able to accomplish the task. If you had taken the traditional approach, it would have been quite verbose. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Python tutorials. Until next time, keep coding!